Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing Home Burglary Simulation, The Castle Doctrine. In the game you design a house to try to prevent robbers from accessing your vault, and then you can go and invade other people's houses that they designed and try to grab all of their stash. So the first step is to design your house. You have a wife and a couple kids. Uh, there's a couple rules in house design. You have to be able to complete the house without using any special tools. You can actually purchase things that can basically counteract any of the house objects, like you can saw through walls, use crowbars on doors, uh, use guns on the uh, dogs and stuff, or poison them with drugged meat and stuff like that, ladders to get over things. Um, but you have to complete it yourself without using any tools, and your family also has to have a clear path to the exit. So what I'm going to do is use a strategy that I've used a couple games in a row here. Uh, and that is to put a dog near the front in order to kind of put a timer on how long the person can take to get through the house. And then I'm also going to... I'm going to put a chihuahua here to test it out to make sure it's at the right spot. And then I'm going to basically put a switch puzzle here at the end that you need to trip a switch in order to get at the vault. So let me put a set of doors here. And then I'll make my switch room. All right, so I'm going to do some power sources here in the middle of the floor. Kind of do a set of six switches, I think. And then we'll do all these switches that default to on. And then I'm just going to run cables out. And then through walls. So what will happen is that the person, unless they saw through my walls, won't be able to see... Uh, which switch disables the trap is kind of the theory here. So they basically have a one out of six chance uh, of successfully disabling the trap, which will be an electric floor. Now they can counteract it if they have uh, drug meat for the dog or if they have water to disable the trap, but, uh, you know, that's kind of the general theory on it anyway. So I'll just do that. Put a set of doors here. Other people have kind of resorted to mazes. And there's your electric thing. And then let me electrify these walls. And then I'll run the cables up there. And I'm going to kind of set it up where, uh, you know, I can easily change the wiring if I want. You know, just run all the way across, and then I'll kind of decide and try to remember which one actually turns it off. Uh, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the bottom middle. So the bottom middle, if you hit this switch, should turn it off. So what you have to do is you have to test it out, which is what I'm gonna do. So we'll hit done, and then you test it out. So there's the dog following me, and you'll see that now it's electrified, and then if you go down middle, then it turns it off. So what I'm going to do is reset it by going to the exit, and then I'll just do it again. I want to make sure that this dog is right behind you when you trip it. Uh, it was bottom middle, in it, which is exactly what happens there, so let me reset. bottom middle there we go so I don't want to actually hit the vault yet once you successfully get to the vault then it submits the uh, house design online and other people can attempt to defeat you so there's my dog that's gonna chase you and away we go so dog 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 bottom middle now if you die testing your house then it resets 
your character. There's permanent death in the game. If you die testing your house, you lose everything. If you die in someone else's house, you lose everything. So it's really kind of a risk reward thing. Uh, so there you go. My house is finished. Uh, when you're done with your house, you can actually view security tapes if people were to uh, go online and actually play my house. And you can actually see a replay of what they did uh, while they were in your humble abode, uh, which is really interesting. Here's the top score list. All these names are randomly generated. You can't actually find out what your name is. So you can't say, hey, friend, try out my house. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Here it has a list of how many people have attempted to get into that house and how many people died trying, and then the balance of money that is inside the house. Obviously, these top houses are quite difficult, especially because I didn't uh, purchase any tools. Although I can go back to my house and uh, try to do so if I so choose. So, see, if there's one person who successfully uh, went into my house, jerk face. So I can click on their name and play their tape, and we'll see what they did. You can speed this up. So they killed my dog, which allowed them to successfully figure out which switch it took to disable it. So there you go. So, what a jerk. So he killed my dog. So now I gotta buy a new dog. So, you know. Alright, and I think that's it. So you got to test it again. There we go. So now it's back online. Uh, so, you know, there's there's always ways to beat it with tools because you can bypass any of the things in the game uh, by using a tool. So I'm just going to kind of go in. This house has five people tried and zero died. So that's fairly promising. So we'll try to rob that house. You can leave the house. Uh, what you'll do is you'll drop any items in your backpack, and then that'll go to the person who owns the house. If someone dies in your house, then uh, you get a bounty for them, which then you can use to kind of build up your house and make it more uh, difficult. So we'll see what's going on in this. There's a trap door. There's a dog that sees me. So the question is, do I want to test the dog? And I probably don't, so I think I'm just going to get out of here. So there you go, so I can return to my house. Just that one guy. And we can go back to the map here. So, you know, there's a lot of... Here's guy zero tried to rob it, so that might be an interesting one to do. There's a lot of tension, because if you die in someone else's house, then it wipes your whole character. So it's really tense, uh, you know going into someone else's place, but you kind of need to in order, in order to get more money and then beef up your security. So it's a really interesting game mechanic. So we're going to try to rob this guy. Oops, someone else is in that house. Someone else had the same idea I did. So let's see here. We'll try this. I've got a bunch of switches. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. Well. Guess you need tools. I wonder how he did that then. Well, I'm basically trapped because there's this door here. So. Well, that wipes my house. <laughs> because I don't have any way of getting out of it. I guess he must have gone down that, that passageway or something. So. There you go. I killed by the electric floor. He gets a bounty. And that resets my character. So there you go. So back to, back to the beginning again. Uh, so that's the game. Uh, you know, it honestly has a very interesting premise. Uh, it gives you a lot of freedom for designing your house. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different items you can have in here. There's the walls. There's circuits. You know, and there's some advanced things that I haven't even thought about doing. There's a pit. You know, there's all sorts of advanced powered doors and powered trap doors and voltage trigger switches with light indicators and stuff that you can have. Some pretty sophisticated things. Um, a panic button. Uh, thicker walls, which, 
makes it so you can't saw through them and stuff like that. So, I mean, more beyond my comprehension of it, you know, I think if you spent some time tinkering around with it, you can kind of figure out some pretty ingenious solutions, which is what the people did that are up at the top of the leaderboard. Um, so I think I can probably whip together one more design, I think. I think I might just do a maze here uh, with with a couple trap switches in it, I would say. So we'll make up be the correct way of going. So I'll kind of put my family down here again. So let's actually make this super long. But you can't put anything in their way. So we'll just do that there. So they're good. So we'll just kind of build some traps here, power, switch, and then like trap door, although they're so expensive. Sticky switch. So you can't actually pass that until the switch turns on, which is interesting. So. Uh, let's see. I actually probably don't want to probably just do it with that. Let's make it so you can't retreat out of that and just make that a dead end. Haha, -ha, surprise. And then we'll kind of do the same thing down here. with the doors so you can't see beyond the doors here there we go uh, let's see here same sort of thing and then we'll do the same thing but then we'll put the vault behind the other door I think so another power power actually I'm gonna put it there Switch, sticky switch, and then electric, and then door, and then nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And same sort of thing here. And switch and power. I kind of like putting the vault straight ahead because that, you know, at least to me, seems like the least sane solution. Because <laughs> why would you put why would you put that right straight? And I don't think I'm even going to put a dog in this one this time, to be honest. And then we'll do the same sort of thing here. All right, so should just be, you just run straight and you'll meet it. So there you go. All right, so we'll do done. Actually, I'll go to my backpack. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna buy some drug meat before I go out into the world in a club. There we go. Done. Done. Run straight. Wee. Ah, oh, I switched them. Well, I just killed myself in my own house. Oh yeah, I did switch them. I reversed it. Well, guess what? I can do that again. <laughs> That's the problem with it, is that you just kind of lose all your progress. So, alright, we'll do one more time. Alright, same thing. Same design. Alright, same design. The house is also fairly large, so it gives you a good amount of room. And we'll do the same thing up here. All right, I should have, you know, tested a little bit more. So you want, yeah, you want that and then the switch. 
and then the power. I'm dumb. At least I didn't spend hours doing it. <laughs> and put a door like right, right in front of the wall. All right, and we'll do the same sort of thing down here. All right. We'll just utilize those other doors there, or other walls. Door, 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 door. Door. Uh, power. Sticky switch. Electric floor. Door. Power. Sticky switch. Electric fence. Because I don't want it to trip until you step on it. So I want it to be like prevent you from escaping is the point of it, I would say. All right. Another door. Another. All right. Electric fence up here, or electric floor, sticky switch, and power. Also, kind of want to make it. I like to make it where they can't leave, but I'd like to put one here. So I could probably do that, I guess. Don't want it to be too obvious, though. Let me see how far. I, so you can see all the way down the hallway. So. All right, so basically I just want to go straight. All right, let me buy some things first. Club and my drug meat. All right, here we go with the ominous music. There we go, success. All right, so now it's submitted online, just like the other one was, uh, and we'll see what happens. So there's some people. So we'll just take a look at their house here. Okay. Looks like a maze house. Dead end. The window. Oh. She's got the gun. Yep. She picked up the gun. So I died. <laughs> so there you go. And now I'm back at the house again. Well, you get the idea. So I don't want to go through another uh, lengthy design. So uh, there you go. That's Castle Doctrine. Uh, like I said earlier, it's an interesting game. Uh, you know, the fact that you have to kind of rob other houses to improve your designs are interesting. Another thing you can do is just kind of design something and sit back and watch how well other people do in your house. Actually, we'll probably replicate that design again and then see... Uh, you know, what people fare, how they fare with it, how many people I can get to die in my house and watch my balance increase. You can actually purchase artwork and stuff uh, to kind of accentuate your funds a little bit. So, a uh, pretty interesting game. So, you know, if you like this sort of uh, asynchronous multiplayer aspect to it, the design element's nice, you know, it's tense gameplay as you invade other people's homes. Uh, so, it's definitely interesting. So, that's all I have for today. Until next time. Bye now.